Hey there, I'm St. Jay, and welcome to Cafe Bammers. Um, I'm a little uh, slow today, getting going a little bit slower than usual. Um, but I've still been on a Detroit techno kick. Um, so I'm going to try and probably do something really similar to last week, except uh, maybe even more minimal this time. All right, let's see how that goes.
interesting um i think the the arrangement was a little bit dicey probably a lot of that had to do with the fact that there were a lot of polyrhythms going on so it's kind of hard to tell when uh when to bring clips in and out the polyrhythms i think are cool though and they work they help uh, make the rhythms more interesting um with minimal music, uh, each sound becomes extra important because there are less of them, I guess. 
the stuff that I was doing at the JP was a little bit strange. Um, I think if I spent more time with it, I could probably do something cooler with it. But um, with what I ended up with, I think that's maybe one of the weaker parts. Um, the pad, I think, was a little bit iffy as well. But the uh, the kind of uh, noisy sound that I did with the monologue was pretty cool. Um, and just the rhythms, I think, were cool. I guess minimal techno doesn't lend itself all that well to Cafe Bammers because so much of it is about spending a lot of time with uh, the details. And that's kind of the opposite of what Cafe Bammers is about. Um, so they're bound to be a little bit his, hit and miss. All in all, I think it was an interesting experiment. Uh, right now, I'm not sure that it's one of the stronger Cafe Bammers, but uh, my attitude might change on that later. But it's always fun to experiment with uh, things outside of my comfort zone. And hopefully it was fun for you to follow along with me. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back again next week with more Cafe Bammers. So come on back, and uh, we'll see you then.